Hello everyone, I decided to revisit my old Python and OpenGL video series and create a new series in this topic and it will be called Learn OpenGL in Python. In this first episode we are going to install all the dependencies and create a GLFW window. And I'm still going to use GLFW for windowing and input event handling and also for the context creation. And this is because, uh, let's say if someone uses another language, um, I still want to want, want them to be able to follow these tutorials. So, because uh, GLFW is written in C, and if you are want to use C or C++, you will still be able to follow these tutorials. And if you are using Java uh, with LWJGL, which is the Java wrapper for OpenGL, and LWJGL is also using GLFW for windowing and input event handling and this stuff. So you will be still able to follow these tutorials. So that's, uh, that's my main reason for using GLFW, not, uh, I don't know, Wakes, Python or Pygame or PyQt or Py side. Although with PyOpenGL you can use uh, all of these libraries, so it is listed here. I am also going to add these links to the video description, so you can find them. And uh, this is the main PyOpenGL side, which is called pyopengl.sourceforge.net. And here is the PyOpenGL's uh, GitHub side, or GitHub repository. I'm also going to add this link to the video description. And we are going to install just the PyOpenGL. I won't install PyOpenGL Accelerate. So, because for um, for installing PyOpenGL Accelerate, uh, you will need to have, I think, uh, Visual C++ um, building tools. Um, Visual C++ 14, version 14 build tools. And, yeah. So, as I said, we are going to use the GLFW for, for windowing and event handling and also for the context creation. And I'm also going to add this link to the description. Here you can find the do documentation for uh, GLFW. Here is the Python wrapper for GLFW, it's GitHub repository. And as you can, s as you can see, it's still maintained. It was updated uh, last month. And here is the command to actually install uh, GLFW. And for linear algebra, so for working with vec vec vectors and matrices, we are going to use the peer model, which is a 3D mathematical functions uh, functional model using NumPy. So it, it is built on top of NumPy. The next module we are going to use is Pillow, and this is the friendly peel uh, fork for Python imaging library, so Pillow will be used to actually load textures for texturing. And here is my repository where all the source codes from these video lessons or these video tutorials will be uploaded. And I'm also going to add this link to the video description. So I also recommend you a video series uh, created by Brian Will. I'm also going to add this playlist to the video description. And he created um, a nice introduction to OpenGL. He uses C++ and he also uses GLFW for windowing. And he has some nice explanations on the stuff. And this playlist has 31 videos. So let's go to the code. So the first thing we need to do is install all the dependencies. So the GLFW can be installed with pip install GLFW. So let's try it. I have created a separate virtual environment, although you don't have to create a separate virtual environment. I just like to separate out my projects into virtual environments. You can just install them globally. So just type in pip install install GLFW. And the requirement is already satisfied, so I already installed these. One quick information before I continue to install the next dependency. Uh, when you install uh, GLFW with pip, before, uh, before in my earlier PyOpenGL videos, you had to uh, separately install the GLFW DLL file, so the binaries. But now, uh, if you install it with the uh, pip install glfw, the glfw shared library is already included in the Python wheels for Windows. Uh, but the correct 
Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable will be required. So in my old videos we had to separately download the go to the download and separately download the prebuilt Windows binaries. But now if you go to the go to the uh, separate virtual environment and let's take the look at lib and site packages and go to the glfw as you can see glfw free the dll is already installed so you don't have to download and install separately the dll files like before the next thing we are going to install is pyopengl so pyopengl and the requirement already satisfied also install peer and peer has some dependencies, so it will install the peer module itself, the multiplet dispatch, numpy, and the six module. So it has these three dependencies. And the last module is the pillow, so pip install pillow, and the requirements is already satisfied. So now if I just run the pip list command, you can see that in this virtual environment I have glw, multiplet dispatch, numpy, pillow, pip, pyopengl, peer, setup tools, and six. And these are the versions for these packages. And so these were the dependencies. Now let's create that glfw window. And I already typed out everything, so I'm just going to show you the code. So the first thing you need to do is actually import the glfw module and the second thing is initialize glfw with the glfw.init and just uh, just do it this way so you can ask if not glfw init which means the glfw library cannot be initialized then i'm just going to here raise an exception so in this way the code won't continue to the next line next uh, lines so it will stop stop here the execution. So if the glfw uh, was initialized properly, we can create a window using the glfw.create window. And the first argument is the uh, windows width, its windows height, its title, and this two argu argument. Let's take a look at the glfw.org. So go to the documentation and to the HTML documentation. And here is the window guide and full screen window object where are the functions yes here it is so glw create window my title and ah here are so the last two arguments which is set to none and none so is the monitor and the share and yeah so here it says the monitor to use for full screen mode or null for windowed mode. So when it is set to null in C++, but in Python it is none, then that means we are going to use a windowed mode. And the share, the window whose context to share resources with or null to not share resources. So null, remember in Python is just none. We are, won't share any resources. And the next thing, check if window was properly created. So you can ask if not window, then you should first terminate uh, GLFW because we are we already initialized it, initialized it, so it uh, allocated some space in memory. So we should just free up that space with uh, using the GLF uh, the terminate function, and then raise this exception, which will raise this uh, GLFW window cannot be created. And of course, by this line, if it hits this line, the execution will uh, stop by this line. And if the window was properly created, we can set the window's position with the glw.set window underscore pause, giving it the window and the position on the screen. So from x top left corner of your screen, x 400 and y 200. So it will place the window in this exact position. The next line, make the context, context current using the glfw.make underscore context underscore current and passing it uh, the window. So actually, I have here a, a website and the windows and OpenGL context and I'm also going to add this uh, link to the video description. Here is a good expl explanation on the context. And here it says before you can start drawing things you need to initialize OpenGL 
And this is done by creating an OpenGL context, which is essentially a state machine that stores all data re related to the rendering of your application. When your application closes, the OpenGL context is destroyed and everything is cleaned up. So let's go back to the code. So the, we were in, by this line. And at line 22, we are going to create the main application loop. So, which will be, of course, a while loop. So here we are asking in each iteration of this while loop, if not GLFW window should close and of course passing to this function the window. And this returns false. So GLFW that window should close returns false and not false becomes true. So in the case, if you press this X on the upper right corner of the windows, this will this, will, this function will return true, uh, which means not true becomes false. So this while loop just quits. And in the body of the while loop, we first we need to call the poll events. So without the poll events, we, without the poll events, we just cannot properly close uh, this window. I'm just going to. Sh oops, I wanted to comment this line out. So the GLFW the poll event, and now, as you can see, the window. This is the my mouse, mouse pointer changes to this circle, and this window becomes unresponsive or it, it is not responding. If if you want to close down this window, uh, it cannot be closed just with this uh, this thing. So close the program. So that's why you need to always call the GLW that poll events. So it will pull all the events from the keyboard and also from the mouse. And the last thing in this while loop for now is the glfw that swap underscore buffers on the window. So glfw uses double buffering. And in the front buffer, which is also called the visible buffer, which is which uh, which is the buffer what you are seeing, and the back buffer, and the back buffer is is the buffer in which OpenGL actually draws. And the, when the, when this drawing is finished. This swaps the buffer, so the back buffer becomes the front buffer, and the front buffer becomes the uh, back buffer, and it swaps these buffers uh, just quickly. I don't know, 60 times or 120 times each second. I'm just starting to lose my voice. <clears throat> so this is the GLF swap buffers, and I also and uh, I also recommend you to go to the glfw.org website and. Although it is documented for C and C++, but uh, it doesn't matter because it is well documented and and you can use it uh, also with Java or, or Python, this documentation. And the absolutely last thing we need to do in this window, so when this while loop uh, quits, we should terminate all, uh, all the allocated resources, so free up all allocated resources which were allocated by GLFW. So this is how easily you can create a simple GLFW window and uh, this code will, will also be uploaded to my GitHub page and the link will be in the description. And one more thing to actually, if you want to use GLFW, this is a procedural way I'm going to do in these videos, but maybe later I'm going to switch to an object-oriented way, I'm not sure. But if you want to use GLFW in Python classes, you, I have here a code. You can create a, a class called, let's say, window or my window, and just call an init method and pass it the width, windows width height and the title, and also ask if uh, GLFW can be initialized. Create the GLFW window as a as a member variable to this class. Ask if the window was properly created. If not, then terminate and raise this exception. Set the position for this window. Uh, create, uh, make the con context current for this window, and create just an, uh, 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 I mean, create a method, um, call it dust loop or main loop or whatever you want. We in in this method, just uh, create a while loop with the, with the same code. Uh, call the pull events and the swap buffers, and when this my uh, while loop quits, then just call the GLF terminate. Then just create a window object with the with height title and call the win that main loop method and it works the same but it is now a little bit more object oriented way to actually do this stuff